Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first in what is going to be a series of uh, editor tutorial videos. What we're going to be showing you is very quick, efficient ways of just doing some basic things in the editor. Uh, today, what I'm going to be showing you is uh, how to add uh, player slots to your mission. Uh, so any mission you're currently designing, you can uh, now add your uh, add slots so your your friends can play with you. You can put the mission online so other people can play. Whatever you know, whatever the case may be. So in the uh, essence of being quick, let's just jump right in. So we're here in the Tanoa map over here at uh, Kama's Whiskey. And uh, you can see here in my toolbar on the right, I'm under the single objects, the F1 command, under the blue four flag. And uh, by default, it should open up your NATO menu, and it should open up uh, men. And uh, you can use any one of these, any uh, combination of units, doesn't matter. I personally like to use the unarmed rifleman, as uh, just about 99% of my missions have the arsenal box. Um, so the fact that people don't start with a weapon doesn't really matter to me. So we're going to go ahead and place down our unarmed guy. And uh, you can see right away that uh, he has some rings around him. That's going to indicate to us that he is a playable, uh, playable character. So if we hit the play scenario button right now, that is the character we would currently control. Now what we're going to do is to get him uh, started to make this quick and easy. We're going to right click on him, go down to attributes, and under the fourth option here, we're going to go to object control, and uh, you have a couple options. Player and playable are both checked, and playable is grayed out because he's a player slot in this case. We're specifically looking for role description because this is what the uh, players will see in the lobby uh, of the multiplayer lobby for you. So this is what they're going to see when they look at the slots. So we're going to make four different groups today. We're going to make uh, six, uh, six units in each group, and uh, we're going to leave them Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and Delta. So we're going to make our Alpha Squad first, and then Bravo, Charlie, and Delta after. So let's get him all set up. So we type in Alpha for his role description, and now we're going to copy him to finish out the rest of this group. So we're going to hit Control-C, because he's already selected, and then copy him with Control-V about five times. There we go. And you can see the difference right away. Is we have the five characters we just copied do not have the rings as this guy does because these are technically just AI characters. They No one is controlling them at the moment. So to fix that, what we're going to do is click and drag these guys. Right click on any one specific unit. It doesn't matter which one, but you do have to click on one of them. Uh, go down to attributes and just to make sure on the top left you're going to see edit five objects that's how we know we're editing all five of the characters same thing we're going to go down to the fourth option object control and now we have the ungrade playable option and we're going to make sure that's checked and because we copied it from our first guy the description starter already read alpha that's all we need to do simple as that now halfway done you can see if we select all these guys, they each have these flags up here, and these are these represent their groups. So these are all technically different groups. So alpha one, two, all the way down to alpha one six. So these are not grouped up in the same group. We definitely want to fix that to make sure that it just looks it looks better in the multiplayer lobby. So to do that, we're going to right click on any one of them, go to the connect to, and then group to. And now we're going to see the orange guidelines. So this is going to represent the next unit that we left click on will be the leader of the group. And we can see that by the little chevron markers on our mouse cursor, um, basically promoting that guy to squad lead, if you want to think about it that way. So we're going to click on our first guy here. Again, you can click on any one of the units. doesn't matter whichever one you want to lead. I'm just going to use the first guy to put down. And uh, that's it. Now we can see that we have one, one flag for this group, which is now Alpha 1-1. One, one. And now to make our next units, we're going to make Bravo Squad. We're going to click and drag all these guys. Control-C, Control-V, and that's going to give us our Bravo Squad. And you notice one big difference right away is uh, these characters have the rings, but our first guy doesn't. And the reason that is because he is a player slot while the rest of them are playable. Uh, you can only ever have one player slot uh, in your mission, but every every character could technically be a playable if you wanted it to. So we're just going to click on this guy, right click on him, attributes, and again, this is an option, but we definitely don't don't want to do that. We want to make sure you only check the playable, because if we hit check play, player, it's going to take the player slot away from this guy, and then we'll have to go back and do the same thing for him. And uh, we can also change this to Bravo, but we're going to do that again here in just a second with the rest of these guys. So just click and drag all of them, attributes, or right click, attributes, playable should be up, an option, and uh, check this box to change the description of all of them to Bravo. 
All right. And now because these are all playable, we don't have to worry about changing our player slot anymore. So this is the group we're going to copy and use as our template for Charlie and Delta. So we're just, again, click and drag all of them. Control C on one of them. Control V. And move them wherever. Right click on any one of them. Go to attributes and again always double check yourself up here so now we're editing six objects which is good we have six uh, units in our uh, in our squads we're going to go down to object control and we're going to change our description to charlie it's already checked boxes as the uh, playable so that's good and then control v again for our delta squad right click attributes delta and that is it. Now let's jump into our multiplayer lobby. And I did skip one screen. I uh, I skipped this, the part where you set up the multiplayer lobby. Just going to ask you to put in a password. Make sure you, you change LAN to internet just to get the full effect. Um, but you will eventually get to this, this, this screen right here. It's very self-explanatory. Just follow that those prompts there. I just skipped ahead earlier. Um, so you'll notice right away, this is what the lobby would look like if we hosted this online, for example, or if we had friends coming in. And they're going to see, okay, this is the Alpha Squad, this is the Bravo Squad, this is Charlie, and this is Delta. And one thing you will notice is the, the group names all say Alpha. So we have Alpha 1-1, one, one, Alpha 1-2, Alpha 1-3. Now, it is possible to change the group names names but as far as I'm aware as of this video the only way to do that is um, by uh, script commands but they don't launch until the mission starts so technically we're in the lobby for the mission but the mission hasn't started yet so those scripts wouldn't activate um, so as far as I'm aware that's not currently possible to change that um, I believe it's still just random as far as when you put units down, as far as what group names they get at the moment. Um, I could be completely 100% wrong, but uh, last time I did any research on that, it was still uh, not possible until after the mission starts. Um, that's it, guys. That's a very quick, easy, uh, efficient way of getting multi uh, multiplayer slots into your mission. Um, and that's it. Like I said, we're going to be doing this uh, a series, just basic editor stuff. If there's anything you'd personally like to see, by all means, leave me a comment. And uh, if there's enough feedback, I will definitely uh, I'll make another video of that specific functionality or process. Um, and yeah, thanks for stopping by, and uh, we'll catch you next time.